Welcome to the Friday, July 31st, 2015 edition of Erdberry's Market Video, sponsored by Erdberry's Prospector. In today's video, we take a look at how access to China is a key factor in maintaining meat export growth. Then later, U.S. Food Service visits hit their highest levels in six years. But first, with this week's retail meat analysis, is your host Jamie Chadwick. As July comes to a close and the long hot days of August draw near, we examine the outlook for the retail sector. Circulars will soon adjust to end of summer ads and, much to the kids' dismay, back to school. That's right, though it may seem a distant thought, many areas of the country will be sending the kids back to school as early as mid to late August, which means retail stores are already gearing up for the return as well, highlighting snack and lunch staples to satisfy the school routine. August also tends to be the hottest month of the year, resulting in high home energy bills cutting into consumers' discretionary dollars. It is also one of the busiest travel months, boosting tourism and food service as families squeeze in final vacations and road trips before the kids have to hit the books. The month of August also reigns as National Picnic Month, lending further support to the protein complex. For this week's complete retail situation and analysis, subscribers should click on the Retail Features link in Comtel. Next up, we have pork market reporter Russell Barton with a look at how access to China is a key factor in maintaining meat export growth. The U.S. red meat industry has achieved outstanding export growth in recent years, enhancing profitability for all members of the supply chain. In 2014, both beef exports and pork exports shattered previous records for export value. Beef exports have steadily increased in value in each of the 11 years since global markets began to reopen after the first U.S. case of BSE. For pork, export value has increased in 15 of the past 20 years. In 2015, several headwinds have made it difficult for the U.S. industry to maintain this positive trajectory. Trajectory. While there are many important factors affecting U.S. meat exports, they are issues over which we have little or no control. Yet the same cannot be said about one of the biggest obstacles U.S. exports currently face, lack of access to China. To read how the U.S. continually looks for ways to expand access for U.S. meat in China, please visit Comtel and click on the Red Meat tab. Thanks, Russell. Finishing up today's video, food service industry traffic hit its highest level in six years. Here's Ernaberry account manager Adam Sharkey with the story. Food service industry traffic hit its highest level in six years, and higher average eater checks fueled a 3% increase in consumer spending at U.S. restaurants and food service outlets in the year ending May 2015, compared with the prior year. NPD Group, a leading global information company, reported that good food service news is tempered, however, by overall stalled traffic growth caused by visit declines at quick service hamburger chain, mid-scale family dining, and independent restaurants. NPD restaurant industry analysts say that while there are many pockets of growth in the food service industry right now, the areas that have been problematic for several years, like quick service hamburger chain and family dining restaurants, are preventing real growth in the industry. <laughs> for more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Adam. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.